welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. It's time for the uh, second part in the LED light experiment. Uh, first part was whether or not uh, LED light tapes can be used for uh, growing corals. And now we're going to do is switch over to freshwater and see if uh, we can grow uh, freshwater plants. Now because freshwater is more forgiving than salt, uh, what I need to do is I need to build a more versatile bracket. Uh, one that I can take apart and reassemble, uh, switch out tapes and try different combinations and that sort of thing. And because I don't want to glue anything down, uh, which would um, unfortunately you know, ruin the tape for uh, use with anybody else, like for my clients and such, I'm just going to be using zip ties and I'm going to tie them to these two metal strips. And then I'm going to use an acrylic uh, shield there to prevent any splashing from ruining any of the tapes because some of them are not uh, waterproof. And I'm going to use bolts and spacers. Now the spacers I'm going to be using are going to be half inch uh, aluminum rod that I've uh, drilled out on the lathe and that would be these here. Now if you don't have a lathe you can use half inch PVC and some washers and get the same effect. It's just going to be a little bit sloppier until you have the bolts all clamped down and then it'll hold together just as fine. It probably wouldn't have as much of a heat uh, dissipating capability as the aluminum would but I found that you can run these all day long with the aluminum backing on uh, the strips here and you can wrap your hand around it and it'll feel a little warm but it's not anywhere near any kind of uh, concern for <laughs> heat or anything like that. So what I've done here is I clamped it all in place. Uh, these are all uh, been positioned where they need to be and I've already pre-drilled the aluminum strips so I'm doing just drilling through everything all at once so all the holes match up. Now you'll notice through uh, some of this as you're going along here that I uh, seem to be doing a lot of uh, pointing with my hands and it would seem that I'm actually talking. Well, when I originally recorded this, I was. Uh, I had gotten a Rode mic and I figured, well, what I can do is just uh, do my work and talk as I go along and then, you know, the descriptions and whatnot would all be taken care of. It actually, the mic works really well and and uh, there wasn't any, you know, issues with anything except one small little detail. And that is, I tend to ramble on an awful lot and uh, this video would have been about 30, 40 minutes long easily. Uh, so I ended up having to edit it. So just ignore the, all the hand gestures and whatnot as I'm talking. And maybe one day I'll manage to learn the secret everyone else seems to have, which is to uh, work and talk and uh, get everything done in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, what I'm doing here right now is, as I've said in previous videos, is I'm just going to separate the tapes. Uh, they have a sticky backing on them, so all you need to do is just cut that out with a pair of scissors. And then at the uh, junction points where there's two solder uh, joints, you just heat up a soldering iron and touch them to it, and it comes uh, right apart. So I'm going to finish uh, zip tying this into place, and then what I'm going to do is peel the backing off the acrylic, uh, put everything into the position it's going to be, and then I'm going to bolt it all down. <laughs> yeah, I'm still using the really long... Uh, zip ties I picked up for another job. But here we are. I'm going to put the bolt through the acrylic. This is all upside down by the way. It'll be switched around uh, when it goes in the tank. And then what I'm going to do here is uh, have a spacer so that the uh, light tapes uh, separated from the acrylic and then separated from the wood. And then it's going to wiggle it into place there. And then we're going to do uh, uh, four more of them. Well, three more of them. So yeah, so the bolt goes through spacer, through a strip, through into another spacer, and then what we're going to do is do this to the other far end, uh, tilt it on its side here so that nothing falls out, and then we'll attach all the nuts. Uh, the funny thing is, I uh, found out, well, about a month after this, after I finished uh, testing the first uh, LED light strips, that it actually worked much better to do this the other way around, so I ended up switching the, uh, the bolt direction so that it went up through and then all I had to do is just lift off the acrylic top and then I exposed all the uh, tapes and it was very easy to change that way. So what I'm going to do here now is just uh, uh, tighten these down. Not too much because you know I don't have to do it, take these apart. But I need to tighten down a little bit so that the uh, acrylic and whatnot didn't uh, have too much of a bow to it. So these are actually just meant to hold everything as flat as possible without, you know, again, not uh, being too restrictive. Now my intention with this video uh, experiment is the same as I guess with the uh, marine version. Uh, I'm not going to go into uh, 
too much of the technical aspects of uh, lux and lumens and par and per and all that sort of uh, um, scientific jargon. Uh, I will go into a bit of that if that's uh, something that some of you might want to listen to, but I've mostly just put most people to sleep anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a uh, direct visual representation. So you'll see this hung over an aquarium, as I'm about to do right now, and then you'll see what light it gives off, and you'll see what effects uh, it has as far as you know visually for you, and how well the plants grow, and you can just do a side-by-side -side comparison and see what you like. You also notice these uh, filters that are on here are from the uh, Quick Fix uh, for leaky filters. That's all that's going to be on this tank. Uh, I'm not uh, doing any CO, I'm not doing anything else, just two crappy old filters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, uh, uh, well, at this point here, is just put in some plants. Uh, and this is going to be actually the beginning of the experiment. This is uh, hornwort. Uh, it's going to take three small pieces and stick them under a rock and leave it right there for you to see. And also I'm going to add in uh, some java fern and some java moss initially. And then later on I'm going to add some uh, uh, Amazon swords and a few other plants as well, which we'll get into as this goes along. You'll also notice I added some snails. Uh, they're also uh, going to be added into this uh, albino phlecostomus, uh, which I'm going to be growing out from uh, some of the babies I have. And also some uh, crystal shrimp and uh, guppies. Uh, and then initially intended this as a grow tank for uh, my guppies, which I started uh, getting some uh, better strains for. And uh, that's what this is also going to be for. And the hornworts really good for them for hiding it. Now, all those clay trays you see in the back, which are usually under clay pots for, uh, where's the guppies? <laughs> these, these are the original ones that are going to go in here, and you'll see how that progresses as the months go by. Uh, those clay pots are what I'm going to be using to uh, grow the plants in. Now, because there's you know going to be baby guppies in here, I had to put a, a sponges over the intakes for these filters, so I don't just have them running through the filtration system. And it's cutting a hole through a standard aquaclear sponge here and it's just going to fit it over the pipe. And of course that will add a little extra filtration, but uh, not such a big deal. There you go. This is bare bones, uh, with no, nothing special technically, and you'll see how things go. So that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, next video is I'm going to show you how things go along, but for a little bit of a sneak peek here, uh, this is all the plants I started with, and three months later, this is what this tank's going to look like. So thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you like this video series. If you do, uh, please like and subscribe. And here you can see me checking the bottom of the filters to show you they're still dry after three months. And again, like I said, thank you very much. Uh, the next video will be uh, the progress for these three months.